the mysteries of space. Hello children. It is a beautiful morning. Look, the sky is blue and white in color. Last night, the moon spread its milk-like whiteness. And now, the sun is here to spread its brightness everywhere. The moon and the sun perform their responsibilities diligently. Children, do you remember the famous poem Chanda Mama Durke? I am sure all of you must have sung it some. I am sure all of you must have sung it sometime. We all have a very deep connection with the moon. Isn't it amazing? How the moon sometimes is full, sometimes crescent shape and sometimes it just disappears. The sun, the moon, stars, planets all live in space. The life in space is very amazing. It is fun and full of excitement here. Let's go and visit a village where a teacher is asking her students to watch the night sky that night, to observe the stars, the moon and their friends. Learning Objectives A. To know the basic information about space. B. To understand about the earth, the moon and the stars. C. To know about the experiences of Indian astronomers. Children, the life in space is very interesting. Will you all want to do an experiment? Tonight, all of you watch the night sky. Look at the moon, stars, constellations and other objects. Make a list of questions which come to your mind. Three children who prepare the most interesting list will be selected and sent to Nehru Planetarium in Delhi. Teacher, teacher, what is Nehru Planetarium? Children, Nehru Planetarium is a museum in Delhi, which showcases the world of space. All of you watch the sky at night and prepare a list of questions. And remember that the best three will visit the planetarium. All the children excitedly begin talking amongst themselves as to what they would observe at night and whose list of questions will be the best. Aslam, Meena, why don't you come to my house tonight to watch the night sky? Oh yes, that is a good idea. Let's go home now and meet at your house tonight. Yes, there are no clouds today. We should be able to spot a lot of stars tonight. Look friends, it is such a beautiful night. Today is a full moon night. Look, there are millions of stars in the sky. Look, Aslam and Meena have also reached Seema's home. Good to see both of you. Look. I have spread a sheet in the courtyard. We all can comfortably sit and watch the night sky. Wow! Today the moon is absolutely round. There are so many stars shining so brightly too. It is such a beautiful sight. If I begin counting these stars, I will never be able to finish counting. Yes, that is true. Remember, the teacher had once explained that the moon is Earth's satellite and the moon goes round the Earth. Yes, yes, we remember. But the Earth also goes round the sun. If this is the case, then where does the sun go during the night? Yes, that is right. Where is the sun at night? Look at that one star. It isn't shining at all. 
all the stars around it are twinkling but this one is not i wonder why look friends when i bounce my ball in the sky it comes back and yes the fruits also fall down from the tree but these stars are stuck in the sky why don't they fall down it is astonishing are ha look there this star is so bright i think it is the north star i remember my mother telling me that the brightest star is the north star uh but how would someone have found out that this is the north star or what is so special about it look i can spot a few constellations i guess that one is the great bear there are so many questions in our mind let us make a list of these questions remember teacher had said that whoever has the best list of questions will go to the nehru planetarium there our questions are ready we shall show this list to our teacher tomorrow good night friends let us meet tomorrow next day I hope all of you observed the night sky last night. Did you all prepare the list of questions for the competition? Yes, teacher. We have prepared the list of questions. All right. I will let all of you know in some time the winners of the competition. The teacher comes and announces that Meena, Seema, and Aslam were the winners, and they would go to visit the Nehru Planetarium the next day. Seema, Meena, and Aslam were very excited. The next day, the three of them leave for Delhi to visit the Nehru Planetarium. They reach in two hours. Upon reaching the Nehru Planetarium. an official ratanji meets them and takes them inside hello children this is the nehru planetarium the purpose behind making this was to provide children like you with a place where they learn everything about outer space your teacher told me that all of you had watched the night sky and prepared a list of questions i shall try to answer all your questions Ratan ji last night when we were watching the night sky we thought that the moon is the earth's satellite and it goes round the earth and the earth goes round the sun but where does the sun go during the night children the sun does not go anywhere it is a stationary star our earth revolves around the sun and it spins around its axis in 24 hours The moon revolves around the earth in a similar way. We do not see the sun during the night because our side of the earth is not facing the sun and the part of the earth where it is morning faces the sun. The earth's spinning on its axis in 24 hours causes day and night. We can say that the movement of earth on its axis is called rotation. This is such an important piece of information. Look children do you know who this is No sir we do not recognize him Children this is Captain Rakesh Sharma he is the first Indian to have traveled to outer space I am so proud to be an Indian sir what did he observe in space Children Captain Rakesh Sharma saw the earth from his spacecraft the prime minister of our country was Mrs Indira Gandhi during his visit and when she asked him how does india look on the earth in space do you know what he said 
What did he say, sir? Rakesh Sharma replied, Sare jahan se achha. Wow! It would have been such a wonderful moment. I too want to become an astronaut when I grow up. Children, do you know two other women from our country have visited outer space? Kalpana Chavla and Sunita Williams. Unfortunately, Kalpana Chavla's spacecraft crash landed while returning to Earth and she lost her life. However, Sunita William got inspired by Kalpana Chavla and she fulfilled her dream of flying to outer space. This is so interesting. Please tell us about Sunita Williams' experience in space. Yes, children. Sunita Williams fulfilled her dream with a lot of hard work. She visited India a few years back and had shared her experiences in space with children. I shall tell you what she shared. 1. The astronauts float in space. 2. They have to catch hold of food packets and water from flying around. 3. Even their hair keeps standing all the time in space. 4. They have to tie themselves with straps in one place to do their work. Look, here these are the pictures of Sunita Williams in space. This is such interesting information, sir. I cannot believe that we float in space. Must be so much fun. We stand on earth and do not float. Why do we not float on earth like in space? Children, the reason for this is gravity. Our earth has a gravitational pull on all the objects on it, because of which everything is pulled back towards it. Similarly, in space, there is no gravity and hence everything floats here. Oh, now I understand why my ball always comes back after I bounce it in the air. It would have been fun to have no gravity on earth. We would all float. Sir, we also wanted to ask you that in ancient times, how did people establish the position of the North Star to determine directions? Children, in ancient times, people were very intelligent. They did not have technology like we have today. Still, they knew that the North Star shows the correct direction. This is because the North Star is exactly in alignment with North Pole of the Earth. It tells us the true North direction. And then we can make out the other directions accordingly. The people in ancient times were very intelligent. Sir, yesterday Aslam spotted a few constellations too. He saw the great bear. Do these constellations have any significance? Constellations used to guide farmers to plan for farming, to show direction and had spiritual meaning too. I had never known about all this. Sir, was Sunita Williams able to see all the countries from space? Was she able to differentiate where Mumbai is in India or where is America or Africa? Children, Sunita Williams said, her experience of watching the earth from space was amazing. She could not even make out the difference between land and water from space. She said she could not see any boundaries between countries from space. Every country looked the same. Yes, it is true. Man has created boundaries on earth. We are all one. Absolutely right, Aslam. We are all on. Option, we are all one. Be it India or America. Sir, why is it that the moon sometimes is full, sometimes half and sometimes it disappears completely? The moon goes round the earth. The earth also rotates on its axis. Because of this, one part of the moon always faces the earth. 
the moon does not have its own light and it shines because of the light of the sun. When the moon goes around the earth, the part of the moon which receives light from the sun is visible and the rest is not. This is the reason for the different phases of the moon. In our country, a lot of festivals are celebrated according to the stage the moon is in. For example, we celebrate Puran Mashi on a full moon night and Deepavali on a no moon night. Isn't the life in space so amazing? I too wish to become an astronaut like Sunita Williams when I grow up. Excellent thought! If you study hard and are determined, then one day you will reach the moon. Children, I hope all your questions have been answered. Let us thank Ratanji for his valuable time in explaining about outer space. Thank you, sir. You gave us such important and meaningful information about outer space. The children thanks Ratanji. They leave the Nehru Planetarium with a lot of knowledge to share with their friends. I hope all of you also gathered information along with the three children about outer space. Next time, when you look at the stars in the night sky, try to look at the brightest star. It will be the North Star. When you bounce your ball and it comes down, remember that it happens because of gravity. Tonight, look at the moon and try to spot the brightest star. Till next time, keep exploring the space.